Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Building Tutorials. And today is the uh, final episode of building the Minecraft school. So I've been working on building this for a while now, and it's almost done. Today, I'm going to be adding the final touches to the school, and I'm going to be doing a big... A walkthrough at the end of the episode so make sure you stick around for that so you can see what the building looks like but today I'm going to be working on adding in a field uh, which is gonna go either over there uh, by where the fountains at or I'm gonna put it over there I'm not really sure exactly where I'm gonna put it just yet uh, but I also want to add in like a parking area so right over here in this space I want to add a huge parking lot in so that we can actually have a room for people to come and park So I'm gonna go ahead and build a parking lot here and to do that I'm gonna need the black concrete and these smooth stone slabs to build this and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to this area right here So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the stone slabs out to probably right about here and then I'm gonna bring it back over to where the uh, sidewalk's at and it's gonna end right here and I'm gonna extend the sidewalk all the way down to the other end so I'm gonna build the stone slabs all the way to the end of the building right here so I'm gonna go ahead and build the next part which is gonna be uh, seven blocks wide and this is going to be the middle uh, right here so everything here will get filled in with the black concrete and then this whole area here is going to be the parking area. So I'm going to go ahead and build this out to probably right about here, I think should be good. And then I'm going to go and connect it up to that bit over there. And there's apparently an iron golem over here. Where did this guy come from? I just realized we got an iron golem who's apparently wandered over here. Alright, so now that I've got the border of the parking lot put in, I want to start putting in the actual ground. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all this dirt. I'm going to replace it with light gray concrete instead of the black concrete. Because this stands out a little bit more uh, than the, uh, the black does. And then I've also got the uh, white concrete as well that I'm going to use for the parking spots. So this is how the uh, the parking lot is going to get set up. So I've got the white concrete over here is the lines. So I'll have one parking spot there, one parking spot there, and they'll just keep going down until we get to the end. And then I'm going to have this area open so that you would drive down here and then you can turn and then go down and park in either one of these sides. And I'm going to have four blocks of room here. And then I'm going to put another four block parking spot like that. And then I'm going to do another block here. Go another four blocks uh, like this. And then these are going to be three blocks wide. And then I'm just going to put the next set of lines in like this. So now I've got a parking spot over there and a parking spot over there. And then I just need to make the next one. Uh, which the last one I did four blocks over on that side. So we're going to do another four blocks here. And then I'm going to build this line. And then I'm going to do another line here. And this is actually going to get extended a little bit further. Because that side I think is more than this side. Yeah, so I'm going to make this go out a few blocks further. So that I can have enough space to fit in. Uh, the rest of the parking spots here okay so i've extended this side out uh, a little bit further now so now i've got plenty of room uh, to put in all of the parking spots so i'm gonna go through and fill this entire thing in with the light gray concrete and then i'm gonna go through and put in all of the lines for the parking spots and then, once that's done, I'm going to get started on building the fields. Okay, so I've just finished building the parking lot here. This is what it looks like now, uh, with all the lines put in. So now we've got a place for the cars to park. 
I also built a, a small little road here. I do need to finish putting in uh, the stone slabs on the side here. Uh, but I've got a nice road that goes... Uh, I don't really have it going to anywhere at the moment. I was hoping to connect it up to the road that's over here. The only problem with that is that it's very far away uh, from, like, this whole road area here. And this is all, like, dirt path as well. So it's not necessarily a road. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, we're just going to have it end. Maybe at some point I'll eventually uh, add this to something. But this is where it's going to end. I just need to finish putting in the slabs here. And then that will be the front done. So there we go. That is the slabs put in. I could even add in like some street lamps. Uh, the here, but I think this will be fine the way it is. Uh, now, one of the other things I was thinking about adding in was possibly a door to here. So if I were to break this, I don't know if a door will connect to the walls. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't actually connect uh, to the, uh, the walls. So I could leave this uh, closed up. Uh, like it was before or I could have like a, a door that you can open to get out from here I'm just gonna leave it closed and then you just have to come in through this front door I do want to fill in this entire area here with the sandstone so that I can get the uh, the sidewalk done so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in I'm also going to move these levers uh, to underneath these blocks so that way you can't see them and the reason why I've got these levers is so that they activate the uh, the trap doors on the other side but I can hide these underneath here and it'll still activate uh, the trap doors well this one I've already got redstone torches I don't even know why these are here but I can show you what it looks like if I go inside it's activating these so that we've got this is supposed to be like a little ledge to put the markers on uh, for the uh, the board. Uh, but that's why I've got all the levers outside. Uh, so I'm going to go through and fill this in with the sandstone. And then we'll head to the back of the school and start working on building the field. Okay, so here we are at the back of the school. And I want to put the field over, like, somewhere over here. I think it's going to be a good spot for it. Because this right here is the gym. So I could easily uh, take a door, like, on the back here. I could put a door here, and then it leads outside to, like, an enclosed, like, track field. So if I were to get... I need to get some kind of fence... So for the fence, I'm going to go ahead and build it out of the iron bars here. Because this is probably the closest you're going to get to, like, the uh, metal fence. So I'm going to go ahead and build this up. I'm not sure if I'm going to do two or three blocks high. I'm going to start with doing two blocks high. And then if I need more, I can add uh, another layer to it. Uh, but I want to make sure that this doesn't connect up to the uh, the museum so if I go ahead and build this along here let's see how far I can go I can go to about here and then we're gonna go back this way now if I were to move two blocks over I could actually connect this up to the uh, brick wall that I've got here and I think that might be a little bit better so that way we've got like one area over here and then we've got like another like small field over in this section as well so we have like two different fields connected to here so i'm gonna go ahead and move this fence over and get rid of this one and then i'm gonna start building the track that i'm gonna put in okay so now that i've got the fence put in i want to add in the door uh, from the gym to the outside so i want to try and put it probably in line with that door right there so that door is on these two blocks so I can go and put one door here I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put the other door in so the other door is right here oh I'm just barely able to get it inside the fence perfect so I can have two doors uh, going out and I'm just gonna use 
I think these are spruce doors that I've got over here. So I'm just going to use the same thing over here. And I'm going to go and put, I'll just use like this smooth stone as like the transition block from the inside to the outside. And then I'm going to go and start building this track. Okay, so I've just finished breaking out the track here. This is what it's going to look like. Now, the next thing I need to do is figure out what kind of material I'm going to use for this. Now, I was thinking about uh, possibly using like red wool, I think would be a, a pretty good option for this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this entire thing in with red wool. I could even put some white wool in for lines. The only thing is I don't think this is wide enough to put lines. I could probably put like one line down the middle here and have like two running paths. I guess I could put some lines in just to kind of separate this because it's only three blocks. It would probably be better if I made it wider, but just for... The amount of space that I've got here. I'm just doing three blocks for this. I also uh, got rid of the corners so that it's a little bit more rounded. So that'll make it look a little bit better. But I'm going to go through and fill in this entire area with uh, red wool here. And then I'm also going to go through and put the white line in as well. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put it. I guess I could do it like this, where it goes straight, and then it turns like that, and then it goes that way. So we'll have at least one line uh, down the middle of the entire track. So this is what the, uh, the track looks like now that it's fully filled in. Now the inside of the track, I can actually put like a small field in here, like possibly like a soccer field. I can uh, use this space for that. And then over there, I'm not sure what I can use the space for. Maybe I could put the soccer field over here. Because we don't have enough space for a football field. I guess I could put like a really small football field in. Uh, we don't really have the space for a baseball field either. Uh, there's really no good use for this space other than like a, a small little soccer field. I think would probably be best for this area. I could even use this spot for, like, frisbee golf or something. We could put, like, a little, like, golf uh, course over here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use this field and put some uh, goals in. So I'm going to go ahead and build a small little goal. I'm probably not going to use uh, wool for this. I'm going to use white concrete and probably some iron bars. I think it's going to be the best for a net. So if I go ahead and break these... I need to make sure this is in the middle. So that is the uh, the goal right there. Uh, and then over here, I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. So to make one of these goals, you're going to want to put one block of concrete down like this. And then you're going to go two blocks with iron bars. And then you're going to do another concrete block like that. And then this is going to be six blocks. So you're going to go six blocks with the iron bars like that. And then do the same thing that you did on that side. And this is going to go up uh, three blocks high. So we'll go ahead and put two blocks of iron bars like this. And then the third block is going to be uh, the concrete like this. And then you're going to build the front one up two blocks. And then you're going to build this bit right over the top like that the back you just connect this up with the concrete and then on this side you go ahead and fill in all the blocks there around the iron bars and the top bit you just fill this in and there you go that's how you make the goal so now we've got two goals here that we can use uh, for playing soccer uh, we don't really have a ball but we've at least got the goals and then over here I'm not really sure what this field is going to be used for. It's just like a, an open field that we can use for something. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the school. Now, there's definitely a bunch of other things that I could add into the school. But I think this is a, a pretty good start. It's a, a basic build here. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little walkthrough of the entire school so you can see what it looks like now that it's finished. Okay, so I've just turned the ray tracing on here so we can get uh, the full effect of the actual school. So here is the uh, the front of the school. I've got the, uh, the letters up here for the mine block high. And then we've got the parking lot over there that I just built. We've got these nice uh, plants in here. We got these uh, little bushes over here. We got the tree as well. So now let's go ahead and open up the door here. And you can see we've got our glowstone in here, which makes this place look really cool with the ray tracing. So we've got the little check-in area here where we can uh, check in with the person that's sitting there, which I don't actually have anyone. I should probably get some of the villagers that come over here. I also need to get like some more lights in here because this whole area here has like no lights. So I could probably add in some more there. But these are the offices. So we've got all the different offices here for the, uh, the different people. So we've got different sizes of offices. So some of them are bigger than others. So I think these offices over here are the biggest ones out of all of them. So there is the, uh, the different offices right there. So now if we head over here, we've got the lunch room. So this is the lunch room where you can pick up your trays in here. These are apparently the, the trays that I've got. Uh, you could also use like some item frames. I like the item frames when you put them down like this. They definitely look like better trays than the, uh, the slabs. But there is uh, where you pick up your food. And then you can go and sit over here at one of these tables. And then back here is the kitchen. We'll go ahead and open up the, uh, the freezer here. So you can see what it looks like. So now let's head over to the library. So the library is right across from the lunchroom. Here's the uh, the library here. We've got uh, plenty of seats around here so that you can sit and read. We got our books over here. So we can go ahead and grab this book and go ahead and sit over here at this chair and read. Uh, you can also look outside uh, right over here at uh, all the plants. It definitely looks really cool out there. Uh, we'll go out there in a second to go look at that. Uh, but first, uh, we need to head out of the first building here. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this area. We've just got the uh, lunchroom. I've got a, a small little hallway here. But then you head outside and we've got this nice little uh, stone pathway here where you can walk. Uh, to the rest of the uh, campus so over here is the uh, the gym so this is what the uh, the gym looks like and uh, we've also got the really cool lighting effect which at the moment the uh, the Sun is once again not in the right position but if it was directly straight up in the sky the uh, lights would line up perfectly with the concrete on the ground and make it glow, which is pretty cool. It's kind of doing it, but it's definitely not in the right spot. All right, so I've just moved the sun. Uh, it's now on top of all the blocks, so you can see what it looks like. And if you go on top of the, uh, the bleachers here, you can see the whole basketball court light up, which is pretty cool. Now, the, uh, the newest addition that I just added today is right over here, which is the brand new track. And we've got the, uh, the goals here as well. Uh, you can also see with the ray tracing, the metal is now reflective. So you can see the, uh, the track kind of reflecting off of it, which is really cool. So now let's head over to the, uh, the next bit, which is the, uh, the fountain area. So if we go ahead and head out of these doors and take a right, we've got the fountain that is right over here. And we've got all the uh, the different ores in here that are glowing. We've even got uh, some glowstone. I should probably change it to nighttime to see like what this actually looks like at night. Okay, so I've just changed it to night and the fountain looks a lot cooler 
uh, when uh, it's actually dark out because you can see the ores actually glow. You can even see the uh, the glowstone down there a little bit better. And apparently one of the chickens has just fallen in. Here, let's go ahead and help him out here. There you go. Uh, we'll get you out of the fountain. I don't know why there's a, a chicken around here. Uh, but it definitely looks really cool at night. Look at the, uh, the lights inside of the building. So if you're, for some reason, at the school at night, this is what it would look like. I wonder what the gym looks like. Alright, it's pretty lit up, but we don't have the, uh, the cool glowing effect because there's no longer any sunlight. It's just lit with the uh, glowstone on the roof. So now, let's head over into the actual classroom bit. So these are the different types of classrooms here. We've got a bunch of different seats. We got the uh, the board here. I've also got a projector up here on the ceiling. And then we've got the teacher's desk over there. Uh, now there's uh, a few different types of rooms. These are just like the standard rooms with desks. Uh, upstairs, I think, is the other type. So if we go to the second floor here, we should have a lab room. Yeah, right here is the uh, the lab room. So we've got our little lab stations. Uh, we've also got a reading room, which uh, is somewhere around here. I think it's on this side over here. Yeah, this is the uh, the reading room. So we've got our bookshelves over here. Uh, we've got all of the chairs right there. And then we've also got the teacher's desk as well. So that's pretty much it for the uh, the Minecraft school. So this is what it looks like now that it's fully finished. I think it looks really cool, especially with the, uh, the ray tracing. It definitely makes it look a lot better. Having it set the nighttime, you can really see all the different lighting effects. It definitely looks really cool. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much it for today. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.